Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys a haul video. I don't know if I'm going to upload it, but I just filmed an anti-haul, so I thought that I'd bring things a little bit more positive on my channel, considering that video was kind of like, I'm not buying this, I'm not buying that, I'm not buying that. But this video is basically me showing you what I've bought. And I bought quite a lot of things at the Priceline 50% off makeup sale a few weeks ago. So I thought that I'd share with you guys that today because it literally just came in the mail. It's been like a week and a half and it's only just come to my house. I ordered it Thursday at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I was on the website at 12 o'clock like trying to order. Like out of my card already and everything and the site just kept crashing. So it took me like an hour to check out. It was a nightmare. I'm looking at all my stuff now and like they've actually forgotten to send me stuff. So I am fumingly pissed. But whatever. There's probably some reason for it. I'm going to call them in the morning. But I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I actually did get. And it came in the mail today. Also, sorry about my hair. It's really hot and I'm not putting any form of hot tool in my hair. It's too hot for that. Anyway. Moving on. So the first thing that I got was from Models Own. I got a lot of Models Own stuff because I'll be real, I've got most of the things that I want from the drugstore. So I really was taking this opportunity to try this brand, but I did get a few other things as well. But I got their makeup fixing spray. Now I know this sounds really weird and I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you guys, but the plastic on the inside, it looks like there's chunks in it. So I'm going to have to experiment and see if shaking it will help fix it because I'm not putting something chunky on my face, but it's supposed to be like a fixing, refreshing, I think it's leaking spray. Okay, just straight off the bat, I wouldn't recommend it. It's already leaking and I haven't even used it yet. Great. Bye. Next up is the Maybelline Matte Maker. Sorry if I'm blinding you with my um, softbox light, but it's really, really dark here and I really wanted to film this for you guys. But this is a makeup... Oh my God, why do I keep trying to say makeup forever? No, I don't even use Makeup Forever products or like one foundation, that's it. But anyway, this is the Maybelline Matte Maker. It's in the shade Classic Ivory and if you like baking your under eyes but you don't want the fuss of a loose powder, you need to get on to this. This is like my third or fourth one and like look, I've hit so much pan. You don't get a little bit of product in this either. You get 16 grams, like that is a lot of product. So I either use this with a Real Techniques detail brush, you know, the ones with the little pink handle and you can like do, 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 do. Or I use my Beauty Blender Dry. I just rub it in there and then I pat it underneath my eyes. Seriously, the best under eye setting powder. If you are slightly darker, there is another shade as well. But I love this powder so, so, so much. It literally just, you apply it and then your makeup underneath your eyes goes nowhere. Like it's so good. And I got my friend Vicky onto it. She loves it as well. It's so good. I had to pick up two more because if I'm going on a makeup ban, I have to have this in my life, which kind of defeats the purpose of a makeup ban because like Laura, why don't you just buy it later? But I don't know. I just felt like I needed it. Also, I needed to make free shipping. <laughs> Another two of my staples. These are Maybelline concealers. So this one is the Instant Age Rewind and this one is in the shade Light. So everybody knows what this looks like. It's just the one with the little sponge tip. I just bought a second one because the one that I have now, I'm getting like quite high up in like the usage of it. So I need a new one because I love this concealer. It's a great affordable everyday concealer. It's really, really good for like if you want just a nice medium coverage to conceal underneath the eyes or even blemishes on the face. If you're concealing blemishes though, please don't just like dab like this. Put on your finger and then like tap away. You get what I mean? For like hygiene. Or just do what you want. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, the next concealer that I got was the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio. I got mine in shade 20 Light. I love this stuff. This is like my third tube and I really, really like it. It's very similar to the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. But for some reason, they are slightly still different and I feel like I need them both. Another concealer, this one is a new one for me. This one is from Astralis and it is their Color Click. CC concealer. So this one is in shade peach. I thought it would be good for color correcting. I don't have a drugstore corrector, so I thought this would be a good one to try out. Hopefully it's good and it does do the correcting that I want it to do. If it does, then I will definitely repurchase this again and again because I think this was only like five or six dollars or something half price. So bargain. So the next thing that I have to show you is from Australis as well. This is the Australis AC Shimmer Pot in the shade Tantalizing Taupe. It's like a beautiful like silvery pink rose gold-ish color. Let me open it for you guys. I swatched it in store and I seriously felt in love. I was like, this stuff looks beautiful. So beautiful. The only thing is the packaging. 
So there is like this little stopper guy, but there's no sieve. So that's what the color looks like there. I'm not going to tip it out anymore because I don't really want it to go on my carpet, but you kind of get the gist of it. It's like a taupey pink. And I'm so excited to do a look with that. So the last thing that I got that isn't from Model Zone is from NYX. And this is their Angel Veil Primer. I'm reading off the back and it says, Treat your skin to this velvety, oil-free primer. Feels lighter than a cloud and leaves your skin looking and feeling divine. That sounds good to me. And I'm so excited to give it a try, especially because it's drugstore and it's super, super affordable. So excited to see how this one goes. So the first thing from Model Zone that I got is the Sculpting Glow Palette. This is in the shade Light to medium no medium to tan i'm sorry zero three medium to tan and the palette itself looks like this i just took it out of the box it's really pretty it's got like a holographic i don't want to like swatch it or anything because i do want to do an in-depth review because the only reviews i've seen of model zone have been where they've been gifted so i want to make my unbiased opinion where like i've actually paid for my stuff so the next product that i got from model zone is their eye base nothing too special about this one it's just an eye base so hopefully that's good. Apparently it is in the shade 01 matte. So I'm excited to give that a try. Because I don't think I've had any drugstore eye bases, which is very surprising. But excited to give that one a go. And I really hope it's tinted because that would be so good. The next thing that I got is also from Models Own. It's the Sculpt and Glow Cream to Powder Bronzer. I saw this in store and I was like, oh my goodness, I really want it. I didn't touch it though because the sample tester thing, it looks so rank. So I was like, no. So I just kind of went on it on a whim. Hopefully this is good. Oh, this is fancy. Look, it comes in a little tray. I wasn't expecting any of that. But I got mine in the shade Bronze 05, which I think is the lighter one of the two, which is called Golden Glow. I'm not going to touch it because, again, I think I want to do like a review of it. But this color does look very similar to my skin tone. Oh, dear. Oh, it smells good, though. It smells like... Coconut. So excited for that. I'm going to do maybe a review of it. Maybe I'll just include it in a new makeup video. I don't know. These have been all over YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. So there are a few in the line. So these are the Sculpt and Glow powders. So I got all of them because that's what you do when they're $8 a piece. So instead of buying three, I was able to buy six because it was half price. So I'm just going to go through them with you. So this one here is the Sculpt and Glow Shimmer Bronzing Powder in the shade Light Golden Brown 3. So this one's like a shimmering bronze infusion, very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I'm doing individual reviews of every single one of these powders, I think, because I'm super intrigued as to what these look like on the skin. So I'm not going to touch it, but is that just not the most beautiful thing ever? Then this one is the shade Sculpt and Glow Matte Bronzing Powder Deep Tan Number no. 2. This one is slightly darker, but I think this is going to be really, really nice for when I have a darker fake tan on than this. Because in the summer, I do fake tan a little bit darker than what I am now. So I think this might be really, really nice. Especially like bronzing up the decolletage and stuff like that. This one is the other matte one. This one is in the shade 01 Light Tan. And that's what that one there looks like. That's super warm, but I think that'll be really, really pretty as well. Okay, the next one is one of the highlighters in the shade Golden Sand. This is the one that I've heard of the most, so I'm super excited for this. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Do you see that? Like, it blinds people. Like, hi. I'm totally doing a review of that, or at least like a, like a face swatch. So this one is a lot more pink than the other one. The other one isn't even like golden. Like, it's more like an opal colour. This one is definitely more like pink. It's very similar to like NARS Coca Cabana Liquid Illuminator, but just a hint more warm, if you ask me. And oh my god, this is the last one. And this is in the shade Shimmering. So this is one of the Shimmering Bronzers. This is the dark one. And this is in Deep Golden Brown 04. Oh my god, this all over the decolletage, all over my legs. Oh my god, yes. Like I could just imagine, like I love Shimmery Bronzers for like, like the body. Oh, I love it. So I'm so happy to add that to the collection as well. If you want to see reviews of them, like as much as I want to do reviews of them, if you guys don't want to see it, let me know and I just won't do it because I don't want to do videos that you guys don't want to see. But yeah, that's all the products that I got from Priceline. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you picked up from the sale or what you'll be picking up next time. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.
Okay guys, so that is all the products that I have to show you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe. I do upload videos every single week, sometimes a few times a week. So yeah, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And fingers crossed, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.